Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Thanks again for joining us. I'm here at the Tom Rose School for Professional Dog Trainers. And in today's video, Tom Rose is gonna be working with some of his students, teaching them how to do a straight track or how he likes to introduce the straight track to the dogs. If you're gonna learn from somebody when it comes to tracking, Tom Rose is definitely the person to learn from. He is the first American ever to score a perfect in the FH track. So let's go ahead and get started. And now we're gonna begin straight lines. So he's going to put down a flag. He's going to pick up a line up so he can walk perfectly straight. Right now he's in line with the edge of the second blind and a tree growing right behind it. He'll be watching that as he lays the track, walking perfectly straight. And he's going to put food in each footstep as he walks. So he'll step and step back a little bit, drop a piece of food. Step back a little bit and put a piece of food. Then need to step that far, just slightly like that, yeah. Step just a little bit back. Well, you don't, yeah, don't need to go that far. Just scoot back six inches and drop the food where the footprint was. So, like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Now step, scoot back a little bit and put it where the foot was. That's it. Okay. Same thing. So he's walking a perfectly straight line. We've got food in every step. He's going to go about twice as far as he's already gone. Now since we taught the dog while he was in the tracking box and working that if he pulled on us, he should disregard any leash pressure while he's in the tracking box as when he's on a straight line. Therefore, if he would wander off the straight line, we can pull away and hopefully he will react by pulling in an equal and opposite direction, which would take him right back to the track. Obviously, it's very important that the track layer know exactly where the track is. Ultimately, we will put an article at the end, but for now, we're just going to put a flag at the end Soon the dog will realize the flag is the end and start racing towards the flag. At that point, we're going to have to remove the flag and put something different. You could put an article with a piece of food on top. Plant your flag, make a big jump off of it. Now, aging the track pertains to how long the track is there before we actually run it with the dog. And in this case, we're not going to age it at all. We're just going to go get the dog and run it immediately because all the dog is really looking for at this point is food. You're going to hold the leash short. In a lot of cases, I tell people to put the dog between your feet as you run the track. Uh, while they were in the tracking box, they were able to spin in circles. We don't want them to do that here. So a lot of dogs, first time they do the straight line, are going to have a tendency to want to circle. So put him right between your legs. Hold the leash right between your legs and track him. Okay, between your feet. Her. <laughs> So at this point, he's obviously guiding the dog. But in the process, the dog is learning that there is food there, is learning what it's supposed to do. And you notice there's a strong tendency to want to look back and go behind. Probably she's missing food, she smells it, she wants to turn around. Also, we had mentioned that best in the beginning to lay tracks into the wind. Today there is no wind. So at the end you can just praise her, pick her up and take her off the track. You can pick up your flag. Okay, this is our next in progression with the straight Sheets. line tracks. Uh, this Sheets. should be this track beginning here. Only thing different is we have an article at the end to mark the end, although he's also got a flag. I don't have an article at you the end. You don't have an article mm -hmm. at the end. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the yeah. other track. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah, go ahead and do okay. it. Free. 
track. Very easy to see where he walked. Keeping the dog between his feet. Dog is not circling. Missing some food, but getting most. I kind of like it when they start missing food because that tells me they're paying more attention to the track than the food. So the dog is doing a good job, he's not circling. So he, the handler can let the dog out a little bit more, let him maybe another foot of leash. If he doesn't circle, you could give him another foot yet. He got off and quickly got back on. Maybe I'll let him out a little bit further as you near the end. Might mention that all of this is very well outlined in my book, Train with the Touch, step by step. Now we did not place an article at the end. We do have a flag. And he gave us real good what we call track loss indication. When he hit the end of the flag, at the uh, track, he immediately knew he was at the end, and he turned around and doubled back. Now, the next time we lay this, we're going to pull the flag and put an article at the end. As you probably know from reading the book, we would begin the track exactly as you saw here. Then the next step, we would rerun that same track using the bait that the dog missed to get him to go through the track. If there's not enough missed bait, then we would need to, what we call, resalt it or rebait it. So the dog will be successful. Once they're doing that pretty well, we'll lay three tracks. One fairly short, like this one. One maybe twice that length, maybe one three times that length. We would run the last track first, the one that's three times as long. Second track, second and the first track third. By doing this, we're getting the dog used to aging. We can also rerun those same tracks with the dog finding the bait that they missed the first time. And as I said, the argument against this is if the dog is really doing a good job at, and he's getting all the bait, you're gonna to have to, as I said a minute ago, resalt the track before redoing it. But what's happening now is a ground disturbance in human sense is becoming overwhelming and the dog is, we hope, beginning to find that scent instead of the bait scent. And also when we resalt the scent, we don't put near as much on it. We may put a piece and then walk three steps and put a piece, walk five steps and put two pieces, walk nine steps and put three pieces and go back to the next one, five steps and two pieces and go through that way. But we're not gonna have food in every footprint. Okay, this next one now is going to demonstrate the first track with an article. Now the dog has worked articles in the training building, as you've seen. He knows what to do, he knows to go down, he knows to indicate, he knows not to play with it. So now it's time that we can use an article rather than a flag at the end. As I mentioned before, if you always have a flag at the end, the dog is just going to simply go to the flag. So we need to get to articles at the end as soon as possible. If you've done your work properly, and you've trained articles and tracking simultaneously, this should be not even an issue. Okay. So it's the first time I do the, the article in the track. Right, just yeah, down the at the article. Time. Should I um, pick her up and put her and say it track or let leader. her It doesn't matter, walk. you can lead her to it if you want to. Okay. This one will loose lead. Track. Now this handler has confidence that the dog isn't going to spin, so she's standing a little bit further back. As long as you know that the dog is not going to spin, you can do that. But again, with the zero tolerance concept, we don't want the dog to even make the mistake once. So if she would misjudge and the dog would spin, she'd be creating a problem.
there is almost tried to, so you might get a little closer and kind of ride the dog along the track. There you go. It's spending to be much more prevalent when there's less food. This food is heavily baited. I think she's using chicken for bait. It concerns me a little bit using a lot of chicken or a lot of meat. Sometimes it'll create diarrhea. I prefer to use Bill Jack because it's a balanced diet. And probably the pieces could be half the size that you see because it's taking the dog much too long to eat them. Not to mention the dog being not hungry later on when she wants to do obedience. Somebody once made the same, watching the dog track is kind of like watching paint dry. Pretty boring. If you're doing it, it's not as boring, but it's still boring at this step. Once they're doing felon tracks and actual tracks, it gets to be a whole bunch of fun. It's a lot of fun. But the beginning stages are, are pretty uneventful. <coughs> Puppy's doing a really go good job, still no spinning, completely out of control, going forward the whole time. Now this is a, a beginning track and what I mentioned a minute ago about laying three tracks, running them backwards, running them a second time, has not been done, but she said the dog is very good on articles. So we're doing this primarily to demonstrate how the dog will react when it sees an article. I think she's gonna have eaten a whole chicken by the time we finish. <laughs> so she spotted the fact that the dog was turning. Doesn't look like there's much food between here and the article, yeah. which could be, oh, oh we're getting a spin, yeah. okay. Did, that was yeah. a big mistake. We don't want that yeah. to happen. Plops. Yeah. Down. 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 Okay. Yes. And then she's going to do the magic trick under the article for the food. Okay. Most common problems that we see with tracking are people allowing the dog to spin, to turn, make circles. Um, they're not controlling the dog. Uh, the dog obviously is going to put his nose down because you wouldn't have graduated from the tracking box to the straight line unless the dog was performing perfectly in the tracking box. So generally on these beginning tracks, the only issue we encounter is dogs turning and spinning. If they lacked interest, didn't want to do it, we'd go back and rework the tracking box until we get it straightened out. Thanks again for watching us. I had a blast. I hope you had a good time as well. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>